Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Kirby. You're watching another episode of Kirby Q. Today I'm doing some chicken leg quarters. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't really like cooking leg quarters. Uh, it's really not a favorite cut of mine. <clears throat> yes, I can go and cut them into the thigh and the leg and just go and cut the two separate pieces. Uh, but I'm just going to keep them together um, and cook them. All right, and I really don't know how I want to cook them. So I'm just going to flow today and see how uh, it goes. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to shoot a video, and I had some chicken quarters already thawed out. So I said, okay, I'm going to shoot this. So let's see how it turns out today. So the subject of this, the uh, title of this video is just going to be chicken leg quarters. Because I don't know how what I'm going to do with them. I really don't. Other than... Get them seasoned up, which I'm going to do now, over here. All right, follow me over here. Here are my three lead quarters. And I'm just going to season them with some all-purpose seasoning that I have in the uh, old deep chart that I had laying around. I'm going to start on the back side first. And I think one of the reasons why I don't like doing leg quarters. As you can see, these are nice and cleaned up. Normally when I get um, the leg quarters, there's the backbone that's also attached to it. I normally don't eat it. And so when I'm doing it, even for myself or for a catering job, I'm trimming it off to get it down to what you see here. And, and I believe maybe that's one of the reasons there's so much trimming and cutting to get it to getting it down but I'm going to get it seasoned with my my, my version of a SPG SPG all right maybe I lift up the skin. skin and get it underneath the skin too go ahead and do that Again, I'm just flowing it down. This really wasn't a plant cook or anything like that. Maybe it should have been, but just a little bit underneath the skin. All right. This is going to go in the fridge for about an hour, hour and a half. And at that time, it will go back to... It'll go on the um, barrel house cooker. All right, see you in that time. All right, YouTube. Here are my lead quarters. Go ahead and throw them on a barrel house smoker. And uh, like I said, I'm just flowing today. So an idea came to me. Why don't I put them? I'm a, here's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> go ahead and throw them on a direct grate for about 30 minutes after 30 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and get my um, cast iron Dutch oven and transfer them to the cast oven Dutch oven throw in some veggies some cream of something <laughs> inside of it with a cup of uh, cup of chicken broth and just let it cook finish cooking that way and um, see how that turns out never done it before just playing around today just to kind of like just experiment. We'll see how it turns out in the end. So let's go and get these on. Bring it closer. All right. I think I'm gonna go skin side down initially. So I want the skin to kind of render out. Just a bit. All right. I know you can't see that, but I'm gonna bring it closer so you can. That's what we're looking at. All right. Let's 
You know what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do? Go ahead and go get the Dutch oven. I'll let that preheat. So I'll be right back. Alright. Perfect fit, wouldn't you say? So we're gonna go ahead and let that preheat and uh let that preheat up and get a let the um chicken I just want to get like a chicken flavor on the um layer quarters I mean smoke flavor on the layer quarters and then we're gonna uh, sear off I mean um saute some veggies put the layer quarters in there the cream of onion I think I got some cream of onion a uh, cup of chicken broth maybe a cup of two two one or two cups of chicken broth and then throw the lid on it then just gonna let it go and do its thing all right so I see you in about 30 minutes all right YouTube I've uh, spent about 35 minutes and uh, I'll just show you how these lead quarters are looking Right about now, get it nice and crispy. There we go. Nice and crispy. All right. Let's go ahead and get some oil in here. Butter. Let's go ahead and get this mixed in, melted. For my veggies, I have some garlic, minced garlic, onion, green pepper, red pepper, carrots. I meant to put in some celery, I forgot. Just gonna saute these a little bit. That oven doesn't seem to be as hot as I would like it to be. These, mix these up. So, all right, I'll be back after these soften up a bit. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm just free flowing. It was one of those that get mixed up with some of the oil. Let's get these spread out on the bottom. Let's go ahead and get our lead quarters in there. Go 
go ahead and add in the chicken broth. about that much forgot the cream of a uh, onion soup I'll be right back with that all right I'm gonna go ahead and add in the cream of onion soup oven and you guys know what time of year this is it gets darker way sooner uh, than we would like it to so the next time you see this is when it's completely finished I gotta go get my hair cut I'm gonna leave this in there uh, while I'm doing that so see if I get my hair cut all right YouTube <laughs> Yeah, I'll stick around. All right, I just got it off of the barrel house cooker. And cooking out. That's what it is looking like. And Put my camera on a tripod and see what it see how what we got. All right. All right, YouTube. I don't know if this got an official name, but I'm gonna call it Dutch Oven Quarters. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Let's go ahead and try a piece of this chicken, which is nice and tender. <sighs> That's what we got. Where's the camera at? Right over there. Let's go and give this piece of quarter a chest. I like to have it. I like it having that nice smoky flavor from having it on the grill first. That's really good. And it tastes a little bit of the cream sauce with the vegetables. Probably gonna make some rice for this to go over. Let's taste that, see what it tastes like. Probably should have made the rice ahead of time so I can make a complete dish, but it'll be on the end of the photo, end of the video. Turned out pretty good. Yeah. All right. And 
just wish I had some um, rice and mashed potatoes or something. But, um, the, uh, that was my spoon, my food. I didn't do it. Uh, <clears throat> went and played it up with. But, yeah. I like it. I like it. This was a bit of inspiration today. I don't know if this, again, I don't know if this has some type of official name. As uh, my man um, from the meat stall. Oh. <laughs> mm. Why well, can't I remember his name? Uh, Ricky. Ricky from the meat stall said, Ain't nothing new under the sun when it comes to this stuff. Somebody's already, I'm sure somebody's already done something similar to this. I'm sure there's a recipe. But anyway, it was my first time doing it. I think I created it. <laughs> hey, YouTube. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you like what you saw today, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. What would you make to go with it? Rice or mashed potatoes? And, um, yeah. Hit the, if you aren't a subscriber, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell below so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Gentlemen, light your pits and fire for effect. God bless. Y'all have a nice day. Shut up and sit down.